this video is on representation theory. So this is a continuation of the previous video where we gave some examples of representations of degree one. So phi let uh, phi be a representation of degree n. It doesn't have to be one now. So this is a homomorphism from a group G to the general linear group. Okay. And the representation has degree n. To a basis B of V, so a basis for the vector space, we can associate a vector space isomorphism from the vector space to the um, complex N space simply by taking coordinates. Um, we can take coordinates of course from the basis. Uh, if you're not um, familiar with the concept of taking coordinates please review one of my uh, videos where I do some revisions on linear um, algebra. Okay, so th this happening, we can then define a representation, let's just say a psi, that will take us from G to the general linear uh, group with complex entries, very important uh, detail. Okay, and we can do that by setting that the psi of g check this notation the previous videos i'm going to write it like this phi of g t um, this t here okay uh, this isomorphism t inverse okay of course this g will be obviously in the group okay but imagine that not only we have uh, this basis for the space v but we also have a b prime basis so b prime is another basis Okay, so if that happens, we'll have another isomorphism, right? From S, from the complex, uh, I'm sorry, from the vector space to the complex N space. Okay, and um, that would be, let me call it, I call this psi, psi prime. So psi prime is going to take me from G to the general linear N uh, complex, right? Like this one. Okay. Psi is taking me from G to the general linear uh, group. And psi prime is also taking me from the same. And this one would be, so psi prime, so psi of G psi prime of g right it will be phi of g no not t i was going to write t that's a common mistake no um now this is s right this is s so it will be s s inverse okay so uh this two um, representations psi, psi and psi prime are related okay now the question is how are they related well very easy they are related for g right through this formula so psi prime g what do I I'm going to put first this I have to write it, I, I always have to write this way. So in this case it will be t, t inverse, because this one is inside, and now it will be s, s inverse. Okay. 
this is the formula okay this is the formula that um, uh, relate psi and psi prime where one is written written uh, taking coordinates from the base uh, B and this one is written taking coordinates from the base B prime so psi prime G is related to psi G through this formula so I put it this into this frame for my viewers not to forget okay I, I could write this in different ways too uh, we can associate those two now I don't mind to, to work one by one I usually always put this one first in the center and then I see what what's going on okay um, minus one but I have to uh, okay the the inverse is the multiplication on a different order right this is bacon seek uh, linear algebra okay so you can use either this one or this one okay so at the end of the day phi psi psi prime they are all the same representation okay so this is taking us to the next video where we will have a very important concept of equivalence so we are going to see equivalence between uh, representations.